Have you ever thought about making money with online courses? A world of possibilities opens up when you create and sell online courses. You're not just earning, you're also sharing your expertise, creating a passive income stream and gaining the flexibility to work from anywhere, anytime. It's about crafting your knowledge into a product that benefits others while fueling your financial growth. So are you ready to harness this potential? In this video, you'll learn how to create and sell your own online courses, step by step. The first step in creating an online course is identifying your topic. Now this isn't just any old topic. It's got to be something you're both knowledgeable and passionate about. Why? Because your enthusiasm will shine through in your teaching, making the course more engaging for your students. But passion isn't enough on its own. You also need to consider what the market wants. Look at current trends. See what's popular. Is there a gap you could fill? An angle you could explore? Your unique insights or experiences could be just what potential students are looking for. Remember, your course should provide value. It should answer a question, solve a problem, or provide a new perspective. Think about what you can bring to the table that's different, that's unique. Once you've identified a promising topic, you're ready to start planning your course. Now, it's time to plan your course. The planning stage is a crucial one. It's where you give shape to your ideas and structure them in a way that makes sense to your potential students. First, let's talk about outlining your course. Think of your course as a journey you'll guide your students through. What are the landmarks, the key points they need to understand? These are your learning objectives and they will form the backbone of your course. Next, consider how to break down this journey into manageable parts. Divide your course into modules or lessons. Each one should focus on a specific part of your overall learning objectives. Lastly, plan out assignments or assessments. These are opportunities for your students to apply what they've learned and for you to measure their understanding. Remember, a clear and structured learning path is essential for an effective course. It helps students understand what they're learning and why it's important. With a solid plan in place, you can start developing your course content. Next, you need to develop your course content. This is where the magic happens, where your knowledge and expertise get translated into a format that your students can absorb, enjoy, and apply. Creating engaging and effective course content is a balance between educating and entertaining. The first step is to decide on the type of content you'll be using. This could include video lectures, readings, quizzes, or interactive activities. The choice depends on the subject matter and the learning style of your potential students. Video lectures, for instance, are a great way to deliver content in a personal and engaging way. They allow you to demonstrate processes, show examples, and convey complex ideas using visuals. But remember, quality matters. Poor audio or video quality can distract from your message, so invest in a good microphone and camera. Find a quiet and well-lit place to record and rehearse before hitting the record button. Readings, on the other hand, offer a different kind of engagement. They allow students to learn at their own pace, go back and forth, and make notes. When providing reading materials, Make sure they are clear, concise, and well-structured. Use bullet points, subheadings, and diagrams to break down complex information. Quizzes and interactive activities are the icing on the cake. They add an element of fun, challenge your students, and help consolidate the knowledge they've acquired. They also provide immediate feedback, which can be a powerful learning tool. Creating content is not a one-size-fits-all process. It requires creativity, understanding of your audience and a willingness to experiment. Some content might work better as a video, while others as a reading or an interactive activity. You might also want to mix and match different types of content to keep things interesting and cater to different learning styles. Also, don't forget to maintain a consistent voice and tone throughout your course. This helps create a cohesive learning experience and makes your course uniquely yours. Once your course content is ready, it's time to think about how you'll sell your course. But remember, the quality of your content will play a huge role in the success of your course. So take your time, put in the effort, and create something truly valuable. Finally, you need to sell your course. That's the last piece of the puzzle, isn't it? You've identified your topic, planned and developed your course, and now it's time to get it out there and start making some money. Let's talk about platforms. There are a number of online platforms where you can sell your course. Udemy, for instance, is a popular choice. It's user-friendly, has a large user base, and allows you to set your own price. 
Coursera is another great option, especially if your course is more academic in nature. But don't forget, you're not limited to these platforms. You can also sell your course on your own website. This gives you more control over the pricing and marketing, but it also means you'll need to handle the technical aspects of hosting and delivering the course. On to pricing. Setting a price for your course can be tricky. You want to make sure you're adequately compensated for your time and effort, but you also don't want to price yourself out of the market. Consider the complexity of your course, the time it takes to complete, and what similar courses are selling for. Now let's dig into marketing. The first step is to create a compelling course description. This is your chance to really sell your course. What will students learn? Why should they choose your course over others? Make it enticing. Next up, SEO. Search engine optimization isn't just for websites, it's also crucial for your course. Using relevant keywords in your course title and description can make it easier for potential students to find your course. And don't forget about social media. Promoting your course on platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn can help you reach a wider audience. You can share updates about your course, engage with potential students, and even offer special promotions or discounts. By following these steps, you can create and sell a successful online course. Start sharing your knowledge with the world and making money today.